when it comes to us dark-skinned melanated males who are spiritually awake and we are in the western countries especially in usa you notice how in usa for example we dark-skinned melanated males that spiritually awake we see that the laws are so against dark-skinned melanated males even if a dark-skinned melanated male is in the right of a situation that dark-skinned melanated male is still going to be the one who gets in trouble how do we know this well we see it every day in the matrix we've seen it from 1970s all the way up to modern day slavery like let me tell you this i could literally i could literally get jumped by three people right i could literally get jumped by three to ten people that have lighter skin and me as a dark-skinned male i could sit there and stand up for myself and protect myself and i know that i'm in the right and in a law enforcement system that can see that i'm in the right that i'm getting jumped by 10 lighter skinned people and i physically defend myself because i'm the one who being attacked and i'm defending my life i'm going to be the one who gets in trouble because i'm a dark skinned melanated male you see how the laws are so rigged and so corrupt in usa that's why a lot of dark skinned melanated males that are spiritually awake that's why we are leaving that country because the laws are so rigged against dark skinned melanated males it never appreciated us the laws enforcement are so fucking corrupt by ran by these evil satanic demons that are just ultimate deceivers like for example man and also dark skinned melanated males that are spiritually awake with our experience our experiences with like uh family relatives that are in the western countries whereas united kingdom canada usa etc we dark skinned melanated males are more likely to experience family relatives in the Western countries, you know, put their hands on us more likely than they will put their hands on a lighter skinned person. Did you know, did you know that the, the, the stats that shows a lot of dark skinned melanated males are more likely to get locked out the house or get physically abused by relatives more than a lighter skinned male would experience it? Did you know that? These are all facts. You know, this is how it is in USA. This is how it is in Western countries. That's how it has been set up since slavery. Because, you know, the white supremacists said, avoid the dark-skinned melanated males at all costs. Make sure, make sure they are not the power source of melanated families. Because we all know dark-skinned melanated males who are spiritually awake is the power source of melanated families. Go look at African and Caribbean history. So when it comes to dark skinned melanated males, we are more likely to experience our own fathers, our own mothers, or whoever it is like physically put their hands on us more than they will ever do that to a lighter skinned male or do that stuff to a female. This is all facts because the dark skinned melanated male is the most hated person in a melanated family in USA and all these other Western countries. These are all Fox. And it's only because of white supremacy, slavery, indoctrination to say the dark skinned melanated male is the weak one in the melanated family. The dark skinned melanated male is the one who is not spiritually intelligent. And a lot of melanated relatives who grew up in these Western countries that obeyed white supremacy, they believe that. So if a, if a, if a dark skinned melanated male who's spiritually intelligent, spiritually awake, these melanated relatives cannot help but to just go with what they've been taught by white supremacy and just neglect the dark skinned melanated male who's spiritually awake, especially if this dark skinned melanated male is copper skin or indigo of nine ethers. This is all side soul family. This is all side soul fun. Like, just imagine. I really want you to have, let me, let me give you all a picture, soul fun. Let's say, let's say you a dark skinned melanated male, right? And you finally broke your silence and you express what's on your brain. You express what's on your spirit, right? But then your own father, your own uncle, auntie, or whoever it might be, 
that that's in the household with you or you might be visiting and they just like get triggered for you exposing white supremacy get triggered by you you know being connected with your african and caribbean roots but they are not because they don't know who they are due to white supremacy slave teachings of school systems and freemasonry mk ultra systems so what these melanated relatives do in these western countries especially in usa they they just like go ahead and just physically and psychologically attack the spiritually awake dark-skinned melanated male who's spiritually awake you know what i'm saying like this ha this this happens all the time like how much you like let me tell you, soul family, like, you know, this is all real. You know, this is all factuals. Like, dark skinned, melanated males in USA that are spiritually awake in all these Western countries, they don't, they don't fit in with a lot of their melanated relatives only due to the white supremacy teachings that indoctrinated melanated relatives to, to just see the dark skinned, melanated male of the family to be, to be the dumb one, to be the ignorant one, to be the, one that's not spiritually intelligent, but the whole entire time, this dark skinned, melanated male who's spiritually awake is the most intelligent person in their family, by far. Like, bro, this stuff is, this stuff is crazy how white supremacies be just like indoctrinating a lot of things so far. And like, let me tell you this, like, if you a dark skinned, melanated male, and you experience physical and psychological abuse or you might have had experienced rape or any et cetera type of abuse by melanated relatives or anybody and you report this stuff to the public a lot of individuals don't believe what you're saying because you're a dark-skinned melanated male imagine me being a dark-skinned melanated male and i said that um uh, 10 people, 10 people jumped me, right? 10 people jumped me or I got physically, psychologically abused in different narcissistic forms by hateful people. And I tell that to the public or tell that to other relatives, they're not going to believe it, right? And there's another thing, soul fam. Uh, If you're a dark-skinned, melanated male and you're spiritually awake and you come home to your father and your mother and you got you got black eyes, bruises all over your body, and you told them what happened. You told them what happened to you, right? Your own father and your mother and all these other relatives of yours that see you got a black eye, that see you got all these bruises on your face, and you a dark skinned melanated male, they're not going to do a damn thing. They're not going to do nothing. But let it be a female of the family, especially if she's light skinned that comes home with bruises all over her body, have a black eye. Oh, now they want to do something about it because it's a female, right? But if you're a dark skinned, melanated male that come home with bruises all over your body with black eyes and your melanated relatives don't stand up with you to try to get revenge, that just show you, that just show you how USA in all these Western countries has always been against dark-skinned, melanated males, bro. That's the fact right there on that last part that I just told you. I guarantee you, if I hypothetically had one day just came home with black eyes, my whole bones is broken in my body. I came home, right? My relatives see this. They're not going to do a damn thing. They're not going to do a damn thing. But if I was a female and that happened to me, broken body, Broken bones, black eyes. Oh, they want to take action and try to make sure justice is it, justice is like given, right? You see the difference? You see the difference? You see how dark skinned melanated males are screwed over and get no love in USA in the Western countries? These are all facts, soul family.